Yahudith, Judith, 8. Now, at that time, Yahudith heard thereof, which was the daughter of Merari, the son of Ox, the son of Yosef, the son of Uzal, the son of Elkiyahu, rather Elkiyahu, the son of Hananyahu, the son of Gidan, the son of Raphaim, the son of Achituv, the son of Elihu, the son of Eliav, the son of Nathanael, the son of Samael, the son of Salasadal, the son of Yashadael. And Manasseh was her man of her tribe and kindred who died in the barley harvest. For as he stood overseeing them that bound sheaves in the field, the heat came upon his head, and he fell on his bed and died in the city of Beit Uriah. And they buried him with his fathers in the field between Dothaim and Balamo. So Yahudith was a widow in her house three years and four months. And she made her a tent upon the top of her house and put on sackcloth upon her loins and wear her widow's apparel. And she fasted all the days of her widowhood, save the eaves of the Shabbathoth and the Shabbathoth and the eaves of the new moons and the new moons and the feasts and solemn days of the house of Yashadael. She was also of a goodly countenance, and very beautiful to behold, and her man, Manasseh, had left her gold and silver and men servants and maid servants and cattle and lands, and she remained upon them. And there was none that gave her an ill word, and she feared Elohim greatly. Now when she heard the evil words of the people against the governor, that they fainted for lack of water, for Yahudith had heard all the words that Yuziyahu had spoken unto them, and that he had sworn to deliver the city unto Ashur after five days. Then she sent her waiting woman that had the government of all things that she had to call Uziyahu and Chabris, rather Chabris and Charmis, the ancients of the city. And they came unto her, and she said unto them, Hear me now, O ye governors of the inhabitants of Beit Uriah, for your words that ye have spoken before the people this day are not right, touching this oath which ye have made, rather which ye made and pronounced between Elohim and you, and have promised to deliver the city to our enemies, unless within these days Yahweh turn to help you. And now, who are ye that have tempted Elohim this day, and stand instead of Elohim among the children of men? And now try Yahuwah Sevaoth, but ye shall never know anything. For ye cannot find the depth of the heart of man, neither can ye perceive the things that he thinks. Then how can ye search out Elohim that has made all these things, and know his mind, or comprehend his purpose? Nay, my brethren, Provoke not Yahuwah Eloheinu to anger. For if he will not help us within these five days, he has power to defend us when he will, even every day, or to destroy us before our enemies. Do not bind the counsels of Yahuwah Eloheinu, for Elohim is not as man, that he may be threatened, neither is he as the son of Adam, that he should be wavering. Therefore let us wait for the Yahshua of him and call upon him to help us, and he will hear our voice 
if it please him. For there arose none in our age, neither is there any now in these days, neither tribe, nor family, nor people, nor city among us, which worship Elohim made with hands, as has been aforetime. For the which cause our fathers were given to the sword, and for a spoil, and had a great fall before our enemies. But we know no other Elohim, therefore we trust that he will not despise us, nor any of our nation. For if we be taken so, all Yahudah shall lie waste, and our sanctuary shall be spoiled, and he will require the profanation thereof at our mouth. And the slaughter of our brethren, and the captivity of the country, and the desolation of our inheritance, will he turn upon our heads among the other nations. Wheresoever we shall be in bondage, and we shall be an offense and a reproach to all them that possess us. For our servitude shall not be directed to favor, but Yahuwah Eloheinu shall turn it to dishonor. Now therefore, O brethren, let us show an example to our brethren, because their hearts depend upon us, and the sanctuary, and the house, and the altar, rest upon us. Moreover, let us give thanks to Yahuwah Eloheinu, which tries us, even as he did our fathers. Remember what things he did to Avraham, and how he tried Yitzchak, and what happened to Yaakov in Aram, Naharaim of Aram, when he kept the sheep of Lavan, his mother's brother. For he has not tried us in the fire, as he did for them. For the examination of their hearts, neither has he taken vengeance on us. But Yahweh scourges them that come near unto him to admonish them. Then said Uziyahu to her, All that you have spoken, have you spoken with a good heart, and there is none that may gainsay your words. For this is not the first day wherein your wisdom is manifested, but from the beginning of your days all the people have known your understanding, because the disposition of your heart is good. But the people were very thirsty, and compelled us to do unto them as we have spoken, and to bring an oath upon ourselves, which we will not break. Therefore now pray for us, because you are a righteous woman, and Yahuwah will send us rain to fill our cisterns, and we shall faint no more. Then said Yahudith unto them, Hear me, and I will do a thing, which shall go throughout all generations to the children of our nation. Ye shall stand this night in the gate, and I will go forth with my waiting woman, and within the days that ye have promised to deliver the city to our enemies, Yahweh will visit Yashadael by my hand. But inquire not ye of my act, for I will not declare it unto you, till the things be finished that I do. Then said Uziyahu and the princes unto her, Go in peace, and Yahuwah Elohim be before you, to take vengeance on our enemies. So they returned from the tent, and went to their wards.